Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Byronic, and last time, our save file got corrupted. Uh, basically, what this means is my world save. I'd show it to you if I had a shared screen right now, but one of my files got corrupted. It's really unfortunate. I was browsing around Reddit, and there were a couple of similar issues. It might have been something specific that I did. I don't really know, but what I've done is I've recreated a world. I've uh, defended my home just like in last episode and I'm exactly at the same point in terms of being at that night time right before the zombie horde so I'm gonna show you just a few differences that were made now that we're inside the game so as you can see the house is different um, but it still has my you know my spikes out front um, I got my spikes out back which actually are working really well right now actually hold on a second you know this Looks like I could finally despawn those guys, or there were some more during the night. So, I've learned a bunch of stuff over the past uh, day or so about this. Oh, actually, let's put this one back right there. Okay, so basically this house, before I go into the stuff that I've learned, <laughs> the this house right now is in a village, okay? Um, as you can see, this is huge. There's a shit ton of zombies in here. So, while this place looks cooler than the last place I was at, it is a lot more dangerous. <clears throat> Uh, the building that I'm in here is pretty defendable. I want to replace some of these windows with uh, with my, what do they call them, boarded up windows. And I think that's probably going to be part of my goal tonight. That and uh, just in general laying a groundwork for uh, my mining project so that eventually I can move out of here like I said before. Um, there are some windows up here. You can kind of see them coming. So there was this one enemy that I learned about and I experienced yesterday in my own private game it's separate from this one because I want to experience this whole thing with you guys is a zombie like a police zombie it's like a it's like it just looks like a policeman and when you kill him there's a much higher chance that they drop ammunition and stuff like that oh Jesus look at all those uh, a much higher chance to drop ammunition than normal zombies so that's really important uh, that I found. I got this MP5 off of him. Um, if you look at my inventory, it's roughly the same thing. I got some plywood. I've got some food, water, uh, excessive water. <laughs> what one of my commenters said in a previous video was I, I, I was running out of in inventory space and they were like, uh, you know, shit, I'm out of, I have, I have way too much water. I need to dump some off. And he was like, I'm, I have too much water, said no one ever in a zombie apocalypse, and I didn't realize until I actually said that, um, <laughs> how silly that kind of sounded, but, you know, whatever. Um, all right, so let us get some food. I, I've been working constantly to get this place up to snuff, and I have been lax on my food and water, which is bad. So let's uh, go ahead and do this. You know, I, I did get a sleeping bag. I found it in this camp off to the... Uh, off to the side. I'm not sure where I want to put it. I would think that a stair, like the top floor, would be the best defended position if some kind of shit goes down. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it up here. I got a bunch of torches, so let's light this place up a little bit. Okay, that that's looking a little bit better. Um, okay, so okay, I've got my sleeping bag here. I had a piece of a couch, which I'm not sure why, and I have a chair. So let's go ahead and see what we can do with this. Uh. Put a sleeping bag here. Let's destroy this cardboard box. Um, no, wrong way. I don't want to put the chair that way. There we go. So, and... Yeah. This is starting to look like a legitimate bachelor's pad. <laughs> Alright, so... Let's go ahead and use some of our inventory. Make that iron ingot. Now, I can make with this... Let's see, so how many sticks do I have? I don't have any sticks. Let's make some sticks. Okay, so that I can make a fire axe, a gardening hoe, or I can make a campfire. I forgot, how did, okay, was it stick and a piece of wooden log, I think? But I don't have a wooden log. So these are burnt wood. I don't know if that would count. Is it plywood? No, I'm pretty sure it's like tree trunk is what you want, but I can't make it with, uh, with burnt wood. And I'm, I'm interested why it shows campfire as an option. Or does it? Wait, where'd it go? Oh, it disappeared because my stick went out of my inventory. Okay, that's an interesting fact. So, if I take my stick out of my inventory, 
and it goes into into the top section here. I was pointing at my screen. I was like, how the hell are you guys going to actually see that? Um, if I put it up here, campfire, uh, well, it, it did go away before. Oh, it's because I took the burnt log out, maybe. I don't know. Oh, shit, that's how you do it. Okay, so burnt log, or a, that's not a stick. Why are they calling this a stick? Whatever, campfire. Sweet. I'm not entirely sure what the purpose of a campfire is. It's not even lit. Am I supposed to be able to light it? I don't know. Okay, so that's that's kind of cool. Hopefully I don't burn my house down. <laughs> I don't even think that's an option here. So, okay, boarded windows. We're going to use our regular plywood. So what happened is in this in this area, I spawned off in an area that was like completely burnt to a crisp. It looked like a dragon had fucked with it. Uh, and so I got a bunch of this burnt wood. And so I, at first, it wouldn't let me make plywood. The option didn't come up. And I was concerned because I was like, oh, well, burnt wood. I mean, that might be too brittle. And so I found out that you actually could, but it just it didn't pop up in this white section. You actually had to uh, put it out yourself. So I think, let me see. I don't know if six is going to be enough. Should be, maybe. Oh, shit, okay. There we go. Uh, and I can just destroy it later if I want to. I just, I don't know if this game is set up where if you have things in the windows, it makes it so that, um, oh yeah, we got to remember, this is some dangerous, that stuff falls and it'll hurt you. Oh, hey, that's cloth. Oh, I can get cloth fragments from this? Nice. I didn't know that. Okay, let's bust that out. I got like arms of steel. God, it feels like there's like so many around me. This is crazy. Okay, grab some more. I like the crafting system in this game. It's like once you learn it, you'll forever know it, which is kind of cool, at least per game. I mean, once your game resets, then, you know, game over, man. You, you'll have to do it all over again. Okay, actually, it looks like I'm going to grab two sets. I guess there's more in here than I thought there was. Uh, okay, there's some windows over here. Let's knock that off. Oh, Jesus. I actually killed a zombie earlier with uh, uh, by falling trees on him. He was really close to me. I destroyed the base of the tree. And what ended up happening is he, uh, where'd my cloth go? Oh, well, uh, the, the tree fell on top of him and he died. I thought that was kind of interesting actually having that kind of mechanic. I mean, I've died plenty of times in Minecraft for like sand or gravel falling on top of me because I like went like full derp, like never go full derp people. Let's see how my spikes holding up. Okay. My spikes are holding up good. It seems that they're all over there or something. At least that's what it sounds like. I think the pro oh, shit. The problem with this game right now is that can I break you? I better be able to break you. You know what? Fuck that. Uh, well, the problem with this game is that uh, the ambient sound is a heck of a lot further than it really should be. It. I, I really don't know how to explain it better than that. But basically, what will what will happen is you'll hear zombies that are really far away when. They're actually not. Okay, good. Did I get it? Oh, I don't get it back. Fuck. Okay, whatever. Huh, that's gonna look weird to have that little... <laughs> the little thing in there. Shit, how many windows am I gonna have? I, this place has more windows than I thought. Oh, okay, I can do that. That works. Let me just get a couple more. I guess it's always nice to have. And then eventually, I'll hopefully I'll be able to make some... Uh, what's it called? There we go. I can have some chests, and I can off damn it! <laughs> I can offload all this stuff that I have in my inventory because I have a shit ton of water and food, which is nice to have that surplus. But I don't want to be out in the open, lose all my stuff, and uh, that would be a problem. I have to start from zero, which would really suck. But yeah, a lot of people. I had a couple questions on my uh, what? How did that happen? <laughs> I don't. I had a couple questions on my videos, and it was mainly like. Like, what is some of the, like, what is the purpose of this game? And I didn't think I was going to actually explain the nature of uh, these kind of games to people. But it's basically, you do what you want with the, uh, uh, with the tools that you're given. It basically allows you to do whatever you want. And it's, I mean, it's, it's actually, this genre has become incredibly popular as of late. The kind where it's like, uh, free roam, do your own thing. That's how you want to play. And, oh, shit. How did that happen? I thought that would have stayed up there. Oh, Jesus. If they come out... Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 
Because this is on the bottom floor. This <gasps> Shit. Oh, my God. You saw him. He was coming right there. Can I double layer this? Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. They're, like, right there. I don't know. <gasps> oh, my God. They've broken through. How did this happen? <gasps> Shit, I fell. Oh, my God. Shit. How did they break this right here? How am I going to get out of here? Uh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, people. This is really bad. This is really bad. Oh, my God. I can't make it up there. Fuck. What do I have in my inventory? I'm about to get beaten on. Shit, 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 shit. Okay, put that there. I'll run around, chase him. Come on. One more. Shit, that was rad. That was bad. That was bad. That was bad. Oh, Jesus. There's so many. Fuck. I need to go upstairs. I need to get upstairs. Oh, God. Where's my stairs? There they are. There they are. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm really concerned that they're going to destroy my base. Shit. Oh, my God. How did they do that? They were just sitting there breaking it down. Oh, Jesus. I'm, like, terrified right now. <laughs> okay, well, this is my last defense right here. Just in case. Uh, I... Uh, Jesus Christ, man. What time is it? Oh, Jesus. We still have... My, what I'm really concerned about is that they're going to break the support structure of this place. If they break the support structure of this place, it's game over. It really is game over. Um, I feel like I should go down there and... Uh, defend some of this place, but I'm... Oh, shoot. Okay. What happens if I stay up here? But they like totally see that's the problem with living in a uh, a pre-built house is that your house is your defense. There's no outer wall. You cannot have that. You have to be situated where uh, your defense is not the home that you live in. That's ridiculous. So I because I'm well, I'm not really low health. I could go down there and start firing, but I'm concerned about attracting more zombies. It's 3 o'clock in the morning right now. Oh, that was just my character, I thought. Okay, good. I thought my house was about to fall down. Um, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. That means that sunlight should be coming in about 3 minutes. So I guess let's go ahead and calm down and uh, build us some... I don't know if we have the material. Okay, we do have materials for a storage chest. Is it plywood or is it regular wood? That's my question. Okay, so it is this. So let's go ahead and make four of these. Yeah, if you guys go, if you, if you play this game, all you need to do is shoot down with a shotgun at the base, like a half dozen trees, and you're set, basically. So you're, you're pretty much good. All right, so I really need to put these down simply because if that happens again downstairs, like if I didn't have those logs on me and didn't think fast enough, I would have been dead. That's simple as that. So... I'm going to use this as my water storage and uh, considering how much water I have, probably that's about it. Actually, I'll put some glass. I'll put my glass jar in there. Uh, maybe I can also use it to store my seeds because I have a potato seed. That means I can start a farm eventually. Hopefully, I can find more seeds sometime. Why do I have a wall torch in there? What's the difference between a wall torch and this other torch? That's odd. Uh... Huh. Okay. I'll hold on to that then. Um, actually, I'll just put it over here. There we go. So, we got the water in there. Let us put some food in here. We've got a can of pasta. We'll put that there. We'll swap out with the spam because there's more spam here. And let's see. What else do we have? Candy tin. Uh, let's put that over there. So, one of the things that I found in my other game before my my thing crashed was something called a pneumatic drill if you do are you guys familiar with uh like if you drill for water um and i have two shotguns okay oh no one shotgun um a, a pneumatic drill is basically a device where you have this giant uh mining um <clears throat> drill on the front of basically this engine and you use it like a chainsaw except you just jab it and it destroys things the thing is amazing and its ammunition i found out was gasoline and i had a bunch of gasoline that i found in a couple garages in this place and i was like holy shit that's awesome 
I mean, they added some stuff in here that's really freaking cool. So lamb ration and chicken rations, they both look the same. Uh, we got cloth fragments. Now, one thing I found out, okay, bandages. I don't know how bandages work. <clears throat> I I assume they have a function. Um, oh, Jesus, I can hear downstairs. There's so many. But I don't know what you need to make the bandage. I know it's probably going to be cloth fragment and something else. It might be like aloe, like as a anti-disinfectant. I don't know, it's aloe, a disinfectant. I know people use it for various things, but anyways. So let's see. What can we put? Okay, so we've got our food in here. Let's go ahead and put guns and whatnot in this one. Um, we have a 9mm mag, so I'm going to hold on to them but we do, because we don't have a 9mm yet. Uh... And actually, in the food one, I'm going to put these cooking pots. Actually, you know what? I think I'll just set them down. Put them by my, Can I put them on top of my campfire? Like, legitimate? No, okay, I just got to put it right next to it. That's fine. Um, <clears throat> oh, shit. Let's just put it right here. That'll be okay. Uh, and everything else, I think I'm going to keep. I've got sharpened sticks, regular sticks. I'm going to craft myself some more regular sticks. Just to have them on me, just in case. Okay. Books. I don't know what the point of having books is. Like, you have paper. You can craft and get a shit ton of paper. But, like, is there a purpose to the books by deconstructing them? Because so far, I've had no ability to deconstruct an item that was later more useful than the core component. And the core component here being paper. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take it. Since we get a bunch of books anyways. Oh, actually, hold on. What just Did something just pop up here? that I couldn't make before? No. I got wooden farm fence. That's kind of cool. Um, okay, so we got... Actually, I couldn't make one of... Where to go? Wooden club. That's it. <laughs> let me uh, let me see what I can make. Okay, so wooden club, I'm guessing. Okay, so use that. Okay, so we got that. I'm guessing plywood? No. So what would you put at the end to be blunt? Um, burnt trunk? No. Actually, maybe if I replace that. Hmm. Okay. So let's see here. Maybe it's not that. Maybe this isn't supposed to. I don't think that's supposed to be there. Let's try the plywood like this. No. No. Okay, because this stuff is all, like, it could be just this and, and then that, which is possible. Uh, what item would make that? I mean, I would have thought that, maybe, but I guess not. We don't have wooden, you know what, let me try that. Let's make old wood. Where's old wood? Okay, so let's make a set of that. Then we'll go to our wooden club sticks try two different ways so that way doesn't work um neither does that huh i'm trying to think here what would be good on the end of a wooden club but i don't know okay well it seems that the zombies have quieted down all of a sudden let's um it didn't appear that they came out here so i'm gonna kill myself with these eventually oh let's get this out of the way All right. Well, it's what time is it? It's seven o'clock. Let's go see the damage. Oh Jesus! Okay, well, it looks like the top floor was relatively untouched. Let's go downstairs. Okay, there's a big gaping hole right there where they broke through. Oh, Jesus Christ, man! They really—I bet they're all downstairs. They probably fell. Oh my god, is it still dark enough outside for them to run around? That would be really frustrating. I don't know. Can I see out like this? I can see out like that. <laughs> I'm going to have to go downstairs and deal with the ones in the basement. But first, I kind of want to... Oh, they're all down there. Shoot. Do I even want to stay here anymore? This place is kind of shitty. What do I want to build my place with? Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and talk to you guys next time. This is Byronic, and that is it.